Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a tax and tip word problems tutorial video on Khan Academy. This was a special request from the Chatha family. So if you have a request yourself, make sure to leave a comment below. But this is a great Khan Academy exercise because it has real world relevant problems, obviously with taxes and tips. So I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks, no pun intended, to help you with this exercise. So we have Aubrey's dinner costs $85. She tips the wait staff 30% for excellent service. How much does Aubrey tip the wait staff? So in order to find a tip percentage, what we're going to do is we're just going to take the cost. We are going to multiply this by the tip percent. Okay, and that has to be written as a decimal. That's a key feature. This needs to be written as a decimal before you can multiply. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to our tip amount. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know. We know the cost, that is $85. We know the tip percent, that's 0 0.30 written as a decimal. And then this is gonna give us our tip amount. So there's a couple of tricks with this in terms of what I like to do is I like to multiply this by 0 0.1, okay? That's technically 10%. And then I triple it when I'm done. So whatever this amount is, I'm going to times this by three. And I like multiplying by 0.1 because all that means is I move the decimal place one times over, okay? So uh, 85 times 0.1 is just gonna be 8.5. Then I just multiply this by three and it's pretty straightforward. So I do 8.5 times three. I can even just do it like this, probably faster than trying to look for a calculator at the moment. And I have 25 and I have 25.5. So $25.5, okay? $25.50 is the tip. That's a great tip right there. So 25.50 is my tip amount. Now, if you want to just use a calculator and do 85 times 0.3, you're going to get the same thing. So that's going to be our tip amount. Next question. Handsome Jack is buying a pony made of diamonds. The price of pony uh, of the pony is P dollars, and Jack also has to pay a 25% diamond pony tax. Very uh, non-real world oriented, but <laughs> despite what I said at the beginning, which of the following expressions could represent how much Jack pays in total for the pony. So tax is real, obviously, but the situation is kind of bizarre. But we need to figure this out. So kind of what I said earlier. So this is talking about in total. So we already talked about how if you want to find the tax uh, amount, you need to multiply this times the price. So the tax percentage times the price will give you the tax amount. We, we said that on the last problem. But if we want the total amount, the total price, that's going to be equal to the tax amount plus the original price. So that's an extra step with that. So we're going to go over a couple of these choices. We need the original price, P, plus the price times the tax percentage. Well, in this case, our price was P, and then our tax percentage is 25%. So we need to multiply this by 0 0.25, and that's going to give us our total price. So we're looking for something that looks like this here. So we have P plus 0.25P right here. So option B, but we need to choose two answers, it says. Okay, so let's look for another option. And then we have, uh, okay, look at this one. This is a nice little, it's kind of a trick. It's trying to trick you here. Uh, the temptation might be to choose E, but that's not right. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to add these two together. So we have 1P plus 0.25P, just like we have here. And what does that equal? It equals 1.25P. So it is an expression that's equivalent to 1.25P. And then, by the way, this is a nice shortcut. If you don't want to spend time adding this and you know the tax percentage, you can just do 1 plus that tax percentage and as a decimal, and it will just that will give you what you need to know. So if I wanted to find this out, let's say the pony is $1,000, I would multiply it by 1.25, and I got it with tax in one step, no adding involved, okay? So it's not C, because if I multiply P times P, that'd give me P squared. It might be a temptation, but the answer is actually D here. D, five-fourths is equal to 1.25, so the other option is D, final answer. All right, next question. David is buying a cheese wheel priced at $14 before tax. The store charges 8% sales tax. What is the total price, including tax, David pays for the cheese wheel. This is just what I was talking about earlier. So we know we could find the tax amount, add it to the original amount, and that would give us our final amount. I'm going to take a shortcut. I'm going to do 14 times, and then I'm going to have uh, 0.08 here, but I'm going to add one to it. Okay, that was my uh, sales tax written as a decimal. I'm going to add one to it, multiply it by the original price, and that's going to tell me my final price. 
after tax. Okay, so final, I was combining the two words, final price after tax. So I just do 14 times 1.08 and it makes it a lot more simple. So I have 1.08 times 14, survey says 15.12. So 15.12 dollars is my final answer with the price, not that. 15.12, there we go. All right, last question. Andrea bought tacos from a food truck and left a 25% tip of $2. Okay, so we have a tip of $2, 25%. What was the price of Andrea's tacos before tip? Okay, so that's pretty cool. We can figure this out too. So if we know that some original price, we're trying to find the price before the tip. So we're trying to find the original price. Okay, but we know if we multiply this by the tax percentage, Okay, the tax amount. Right now we're just looking at tax amount. We're using essentially that equation, the tax amount equation. So if we know we multiply the price times the tax percentage, 0 0.25, written as a decimal, of course, it will give us our tip, or sorry, our tax amount. That's what we said at the end. So tax amount, which we know is $2. So our tax in dollars is going to be, I wish that would have been in green. We'll call that in green. So we have $2 and that's equal to those two. Okay, so price times 0.25 equals two. So I can go in reverse. If I wanna simplify for price, what I can do is I can divide by 0 0.25 to both sides, 0 0.25, okay? That's essentially the same thing as multiplying by four, but if you don't trust me, you can go ahead and do that division. So we do two divided by 0 0.25 and you're gonna get eight and you do. Okay, so $8, 25% tip. $2, the total amount would be 10, but we just interested in what the tip was and the original price. So in this case, it's gonna be $8. Did I write that down somewhere? I did not. Let me write that out. Let's be thorough here. So price equals $8, okay? Because we did two divided by 0.25 and we got eight. And that should do it. All right, so I hope that was a helpful video. Make sure to check out more of my Khan Academy tutorials or also search uh, in my main screen on YouTube and you can find anything that you're looking for in terms of math concepts. Make sure to leave a, a comment if you need something covered and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.